Cambridge Physic Garden is located in the heart of the very town itself. It lies behind a high stone wall. The garden was originally part of the old Hall Gardens, laid out by the Edmonds family in the 18th century, though it was badly neglected in the 20th century. It was brought back to life by enthusiastic volunteers, and today it is a glorious array of medicinal plants and herbs like a typical Physic Garden from centuries past. The Physic Garden is fairly small at just half an acre, but it is laid out in a formal pattern and contains a fascinating variety of species of plants that would have traditionally have been used for healing, cooking and dyeing fabrics. The garden has been as described as a small oasis of calm and tranquility, just a few steps away from the noises of modern day life. All paths are flat and wheelchair friendly. The beds are circular around the fountain, which is at the centre of the garden, and this is how physic gardens used to be in times gone by. They were all structured in such a way that they were little areas were contained so certain types of plants could be grown together. All the plants were here in the United Kingdom anyway before 1800. So it means that we have quite a lot of plants that are not perhaps quite as pretty as some of the ones that you grow in your gardens. And they were all used at one time for medicinal purposes. It's in the middle of a town. It's easy access for people. So we have a lot of people coming into the garden and people like the garden because it's always quiet, it's peaceful, and it's interesting. You have a lot of gardens, but you don't have many gardens that are physic gardens. So they'll be seeing plants that may have thought of were a weed, but in this case, they've actually got a medicinal use or used to have a medicinal use. So the plants are divided into beds and they relate to different parts of the body. So we, very early on, we had to decide what plants we wanted and we had to choose them and then we had to decide some of them were very big some of them are quite tall plants and some of them are very small so they're all well labeled in English and in Welsh so that we can see what they are and then you can relate them to the bed <laughs> 